I'm Mandy Elizabeth and welcome back to my channel. Um, I found a lot of great goodies and I'm really excited to show you. I went sourcing on Monday, which I'll, I'll let you know a little bit about how that went um, since everybody had off of school and I didn't know and there were like 200 people there, but um, I still did my best. So welcome back once again and cheers. So I really want to get right into it and I put my like most fun favorite thing that I found first. Um, I didn't mean to have so many F's right there. My most fun favorite thing. <laughs> um, but it's this. I mean like, it's so cute. It looks like you're like a little walking piece of cotton candy. <laughs> I saw it in a bin and I was so excited. Um, I think it's just like a little boutique brand. A little off the shoulder back zipper. Um, I didn't find any flaws and it's new with tags. So I thought that that was really cool. Um, like my first haul, I kind of tried to organize things for you guys. Um, I have like new with tags. I have spring sweaters. I have spring tops a couple curvy girl pieces, denim, vintage, which I hope you guys know is my favorite, a few kids, a couple stragglers, a new section, which is like high-end designer pieces that I found, and then like athleisure stuff and potentially one fail. So that's how we'll move through the rack today. Um, I When I found this, I very closely found this another new with tags item it is a different size so it's not probably the same person but this is a nasty gal piece new with tags um i know in my first call i said not all polka dot is created equal in my mind but i think that since this is kind of like an enlarged polka dot with this plunging top this is really super cute no flaws it's not brown and, and beige like my favorite polka dot piece, but I think it's still really super cute. Um, now spring sweaters. So this piece is so wearable. Like this kind of chunky rib knit and this like denim blue color. This is like the new Urban Outfitters tag. Um, <clears throat> it's cropped couple buttons. You could wear this like as a top or as a cardigan, uh, size small. Super fun. It's kind of nubby, but I think that's the kind of the texture that it's supposed to have. And then I found this, which I think is like a DIY chop job, but I very often do this to like my t-shirts and also like cardigan sweaters. So Craft and Barrel, I'm not really sure where that's sold, um, but I do find it a lot like in regular thrift stores. This is a size large. Um, it's like a micro rib and there's no material tag because that got chopped off too. Um, but this like cool like, like Eastery green color and it's kind of got like a little bit of blue in it, a little light yellow. I think this is why it's a DIY chop job. It's like a little uneven, but if you're wearing it, it probably looks super cool. And I think in my other video, I said that like, you know, if something like this came from, um, if it came from like any of those like kind of grungy, um, those kind of like grungier brands, like it could have holes or be uneven and that makes it really cool. So. Um, I think it's still wearable, maybe still sellable. It also came from like a Goodwill since it still has the tag on it. So we'll see how it goes. If not, you might see it in my next video. I might wear it. Um, this is so cute. I love the color. It's so happy. It's a great basic. It is by Theory, which I think we all know Theory. Um, so this is a viscose and nylon v-neck it's like very thin but not transparent um 
and really soft and I think it's just like a happy little color for spring. This piece, maybe not the springiest color, but it's a very lightweight wine colored cashmere sweater and it's a size 38. So I'm not really certain of this brand, but it looks like a European brand because of the sizing, how it says size 38. But this is super soft. And like it has these really like beautifully detailed sleeves, very simple, but this color is great. It's super duper soft. I didn't see any flaws. Um, it still has, it has like the extra button on the tag, which I thought was cool and makes it look like it's like not really been worn, but some places are still pretty cool. So I thought this was like a great transitional spring sweater. Although this one may not be the springiest colors. I thought that this was so cute. So when I grabbed this, I was really hoping it was like aviator nation with this like kind of, um, rainbow striped pattern. It's not. And I was really surprised on the brand. So it's from express. And I realized Express is kind of having a comeback moment. Like I've noticed like they're having Instagram ads and like they're doing a lot of different like lengths and jeans. So I don't know if this is like an older piece or a more current piece, but I think it's still pretty relevant. It's really soft. It has this like kind of high low effect and it's thin. So I think this is still something that's transitional. Oh, so this is actually, look, so Express, I guess, puts the dates on the tag, kind of like Madewell and other brands. So this is from 2018. So not super old, but not um, super current, but in style, I think it's still very current. This sweater I kind of picked up for myself. Um, I really like collegiate looking things and this Letterman sweater. I know sweater vests were really big in spring and now vet, or in um, fall, excuse me. So now that it's spring, I don't know if people are still gonna be wearing like sweater vests, but like I said, I kind of picked it up for myself. Um, these are the colors of like my alma mater. <laughs> so I picked it up and I was like, oh, like my class reunion will be coming up like next year and maybe it would be fun to wear it. So I thought that, that was really cool. Also, my fiance and I went to rival high schools. So he has a Letterman jacket and I have this and I thought maybe I would surprise him by wearing it and he would, you know, hopefully laugh at me and, and maybe we could go out and get like lunch or something together in our hometown and that would be really fun. But um, moving on from spring sweaters to like very, very spring tops. This little crop top is so cute. I guess it's more like a bralette crop top, but oh my gosh, I love the stripes. It's giving sexy coastal grandma <laughs> with the like pale blue. Like, oh my goodness, I love it so much. I grabbed for it. Thankfully, no one grabbed it as well but this is a anthropology collab. And it's a size large, which is a great size. Cause sometimes these things come only like very, very small, but it has like the smocking in the back and adjustable straps. And there's like no discoloration on the inside. So I don't think that anyone wore it, but it is very current, very cool. Um, I hope we find a home for it. Uh, this bodysuit also super cute. So it almost looks like swimwear, but it's not. It's kind of got a little bit of sheen to it. And it is Zara. I think this is maybe their newer tag. You can see that, the Zara tag. And then some Zara pieces have these like weird shapes like on the side of the piece. And this is to indicate like how this piece runs in size. So the circle means that it runs big. And then there's, I think a square, which means it runs true to size and a triangle, which I believe means it runs small. So 
I thought that was quite interesting and I'm sure that this would look super cute tucked into a pair of jeans or even like with slacks or cut off jean shorts. So very wearable, great piece. This is so cute. I love this kind of like open eyelet, this denim blue, crisscross back, super strappy, very tiny. Um, this is free people intimately. So this is the tag. Might be a little hard to show. And it is an extra small. But like this could be worn kind of the same way that this would be worn. Um, but very fun. Like if you're going on vacation or festival season, really cool. I like this a lot. And then I found this, which this surprised me, like the brand, because it's super soft. Um, and I love this kind of like tomato-y red orangey color. And it's just by Loft. And it's new with tags. I've never seen a blue tag, but it's it's not um it's not the the outlet. The outlet stuff normally has like a couple dots underneath it. So I think this is like actually from in store as to why they got blue tags or when that happened, I'm unsure but it's very, very lightweight. It's like a really beautiful cotton. And I guess I was in an orange kick. So I found this too, this cute little bodysuit. Now this is a fast fashion brand. We've got, this is Fashion Nova. So this probably didn't retail for much, but I figured this is really current and like with the asymmetrical and like the cutout and that it's a bodysuit and it didn't look like it was worn. So I wanted to make sure it didn't end up in a landfill because someone will look very cute in this for spring. I love this color because I feel like it makes people look like they got a tan even if they weren't out in the sun. And then moving on to, you know, my passion project, which is finding curvy girl things secondhand. I thought that this was so cool. I mean, it is so glamorous. Um, the back is so beautiful. The only spot where I saw where there's like a few loose sequins, which I mean, come on, it's covered in sequins. You're not gonna really notice if any are not there. It's just over here on the underarm. But this is beautiful. If you're going out, I feel like you could even wear this if you're like, a on like a girl's trip or even a bachelorette party, like the bride-to-be could wear this. Like this is very hot. Um, and it's from ASOS, which my sister actually got her wedding dress from ASOS. They do a really pretty um, bridal collection. This is a US size 20 really great size. I think it's really beautiful. There's a little bit of discoloration like on the strap, but I really don't think anyone's going to see that. It could have just been like a little bronzer and I'll try to wash it out, but it's still, I think a really great piece. And then I found this. I feel like you could almost wear these together if you're going to mix metals with the gold buttons and the sequin um, top, but I've never heard of this brand. Maybe just like a little boutique brand but it's new with tags and it is a size 2X. Vegan leather mini skirt. It has the shorts in the back. I think this is so amazing. I just bought a brown one like this for myself. I'm wearing like vegan leather pants right now. I just think this is so cool. Once again, it was probably in a regular price Goodwill and didn't sell. And it was on its way to potentially a landfill. So I saved her. I hope she finds a good home. <laughs> um, moving on to denim now. So, you know, I think that the skinny is like the great debate right now, but I still feel 
like there are times where you need some skinny jeans. This Madewell pair of black skinnies, I think is a staple for someone's closet. So it's all black. Like they even have like the darker colored um, grommets and buttons. I think this is a little bit of an older style of Madewell. So if you see this tag, but the back tag, if you notice, like it's not cracked, it's not discolored from washing. So I feel like this pair hasn't really been worn a lot. The style is the 10 inch high rise skinny. They are a size 25 petite. I mean, this is great. Like I love having a black skinny jean. Um, even if skinny jeans aren't as cool, I still think there are ways when you wear them and you're like, wow, she looks really sexy. So, um, these, not a skinny jean. So these are AG. I think this is like the quintessential like spring summer denim, like in this wash with the rips and like a little bit of factory distressing. It's definitely like a high rise. And this is their more like expensive line. If you see this like 49 here on the button, the back patch is like barely washed. So this pair of jeans probably retailed for like probably $250. And these are, you know, designed in California. So they're American made. I'm kind of looking for like maybe the style for you guys. The, I don't see this. I think it's on the actual like turnaround. The Phoebe. Ooh, where? Oh, there we go. The Phoebe. Yeah, the Phoebe high rise, high waisted taper leg. Yeah, so that's like a really great style. And they're in a good size. They're 27 regular. Back pocket is still in great condition. I thought these were a really great find. Like I pulled up to a bin with all of the other people that were there and they make you wait until everybody, you know, files in and finds a bin. They go through the rules and then they like count down one, two, three, shop. <laughs> and there were four of us in the one bin and I saw just like tiny peeking out from like a bunch of other things. I saw the AG, I had no clue like what condition they were gonna be in and like myself and another person kind of grabbed for them. And luckily I, I got them because I was like really right in front of them. So I'm happy that they came home with me. <laughs> I would want those if I didn't just take your other jeans. Yeah, <laughs> they're really cute. Um, now these are Zara. So kind of going back with like how these AG jeans are like they're more expensive AG style. This is the more expensive Zara denim. So some of Zara's denim, like you'll find them both on, on the front like table when you walk in and they're like around $20. This is their more premium line, which you'll typically find like hanging up on the racks with other things, which can be like $59, $69, $79. Retail that is. So this is their premium denim collection. This is a zipper fly. It's a high rise. I would say maybe a skinny, but not like, not like a jegging or something like probably between like a skinny and a straight. They've got the distressing. Um, at some point this was probably cuffed. So I probably just wash that. They've got a raw hem in the back and these feel really nice. Like they definitely have some stretch to them, but the color of the denim is giving me like a classic Levi's kind of denim, especially with like, the copper grommets and everything. And like the little bit of like yellow stitching, which are all details like you're not gonna get when you buy like the very like inexpensive jeans that Zara does make. So I thought these were great too. And I guess I got really lucky <laughs> when it came to denim because I found these Citizens for Humanity jeans. These also look like they have not been like worn or washed, but they have a lot of factory like fading, but not distressing. 
So if you're somewhere like that where you go to work, maybe you can't really wear like distressed jeans. Like they have a little bit on the pocket, but I feel like that's something you can get away with. But these are so soft. Like these are very lightweight denim. Like if you're in a warm climate, like this is a great pair of jeans. Um, I think that, yeah, the, this is a premium denim from them too. This is premium vintage. Like that makes sense now to me because these feel like your favorite pair of jeans that have gone through the wash 700 times and they're that like nice and thin. And then the style is the Elsa Mid-Rise Slim Fit Crop. So this is also like a great, you know, denim staple. Mid-Rise, I would say maybe like a nine inch rise. So I thought these were really cool. And then we're gonna use this next piece to transition into some vintage. So I found these jeans, which are men's jeans. But to me, that does not matter um, because I would still wear them. They are like, I wouldn't say like rigid denim, but definitely like a thicker pair of denim. And they are Wranglers and they have this great like vintage Wranglers patch on the back with the yellow Wranglers and like the, the W on the butt pocket, which I think is actually super flattering. Now, like I said, these are men's. So the size I believe is like a 34, 32. So they're gonna be a little bit big, but if you can wear them like slouchy and oversized, it's really cool. I also contemplated like cutting them off into like a boyfriend short type thing. But I think that the denim leg, like it's just like really cool that I don't wanna lose it. So I'm gonna try them on and see if I can kind of wear them as like crossover denim. Um, or if I could like kind of cinch the side or I don't know if you guys have seen like online, like people are like putting ribbon through here and tying it and like a little bow and then obviously makes them tighter so you can wear them. So I might try to style them that way because I think they're really cool. And then this is probably my favorite piece that I found. So it was in an older bin and I don't know how someone passed it up because it is like a leather, leather sweater cardigan, like genuine leather. The arms are acrylic, but this is, this is all leather here. It's like a leather jacket and a Kooji sweater, like had a baby. <laughs> it has like, a suede patch in the back and it, it does have some flaws but I mean come on this is from like the 80s or 90s so I think flaws make it even more perfect actually but I really really like this this is probably going to be really hard for me not to keep it maybe I'll do a like a little styling video or something with it because it's so cool like my leather pants I'm already like contemplating outfits, <laughs> like places where I wanna wear this, but this is great. And I think that it's like a great transitional piece for when it's cool out night at night, that even if you had like jean shorts on and this, like you would, you would look cool and feel not too chilly. And then this piece here has really cute embroidery. It was giving like granny core, cottage core kind of like rodeo vibes. It has a little bit of like fading, but I think that's because it's old. So just an extra small, 100% cotton button down shirt. All the buttons are there, I just didn't button it. But the roselet, like, like this is so cute. Like you could tuck it in, you could even chop it if, if you wanted to, that would be really cute, chopped all the way up like that, like kind of less conservative looking. I think that could be really cool. You could obviously style it like that, but you could probably chop it and have it like get all frayed, like the bottom of like cut off jean shorts. The back is just simple, but I thought this was like a really cute piece to have too. Now, I said earlier how I went to the bins and it was crazy. Like there are no lie, like 200 plus people in this 
you know, like basically warehouse, like searching through everything. So once you would get to a bin, like there were like 15 people that had already gone through it and there were like literally scraps left in there. So I had to pivot and I did find some cute stuff in my first video that were for kids and I was just like basically looking for anything. So I did find a couple of kids pieces. Um, this I think is so adorable. I might try to shove my dog in it because my dog's name is Cash. We like, you know, kind of named him after Johnny Cash, kind of not, but this is so cute. I know he won't let me actually put him in here, so I'm not gonna do it, but I'm really thinking about it. It's a 4T and it's just like the Johnny Cash like licensed tee, but the man in black t-shirt, like how cool and hip, I love this. That's so cute. And then this brand, luckily, I think I would have passed on this if I didn't know this brand. So I've seen this brand at the mall. Like, um, the mall that's closest to me is a very high-end mall. And like, the least expensive store in the mall is probably like Banana Republic. Like that's like, you know, like Forever 21 basically. So the kids stores, which I did, I've never gone into, but um, I remember seeing the name and like this little like cotton top probably cost around $150 retail. It's so cute. I love the piping. It's adorable, especially with the little buttons. I love it. I think it's so cute. It probably needs to be OxyClean, but I hope it finds a home because it's really beautiful. Should we let him in? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh oh, someone's dad's outside. Cash, are you see your dad? that are just like I didn't find multiple of these things but I'll just show you a few of those then so this piece here I was really gravitating towards like the colorway I was hoping it was vintage but it's a little skirt it has like a smocked top here like a smocked waistband and I just like kind of kept going back and forth with it and the tag's kind of a little falling off, which didn't scare me at all, um, cause it's just the tag. But I kept thinking, oh, maybe I'll put it back. Maybe I won't. I kind of like the colors. Like it is lined, but I wasn't certain of the actual brand. But then I saw these little zebras on the bottom. And then I saw these cute little zebra like tie ends here and they're like really like substantial and heavy so it's like all right like let's just get it it's so cute I clearly like zebra so I was like all right let's get this so I brought it home and I actually looked up the brand and the RN number and this is like an anthropology skirt so I was like okay major plus so I'm glad that I saved her I think it's super cute and it goes with this other top I got <laughs> Not as an outfit, but maybe like a couple's thing. <laughs> She's wearing this and he's wearing this and they're taking their honeymoon on safari. Like this I thought was so cool. Um, Onya, I don't find this brand very often, but I think it retails probably around like 50 and $60. But this is a great super lightweight men's top. It does have all the buttons. I just didn't button it. I like... The print, it kind of like looks like a blue camo until you really look in there and see it's kind of like a safari print. Size extra large. This is a great summer top. And I think if anybody's going on vacation or on safari, um, it would be a really cute novelty piece to take. Um, moving on to the two pieces that I found that are 
big ticket retail pieces. Hi, bud. You're trying to be in the video? You're not for sale. <laughs> um, these, which, you know, could look like nothing. They were just folded up, little, like, side zip. Um, probably ankle length, like, dress pants with a front pleat and a back pleat. Um, I saw that they had the dry cleaning tag still attached, so that made me think, oh, like, most people don't get things dry cleaned unless they're worth getting dry cleaned. And then I moved the tag, and it is, you know, I was holding my breath, and it is Lafayette 148. Not to be confused with Lafayette 145, which I think is, like, sold at Macy's. Lafayette 148, um, they have, like, small boutiques um, all over the U.S. I don't know if they're distributed in any major, like, department stores, but this store is also in the same mall that the little kids' store is, so I was like, wait a second here. Like, these are probably really expensive. So I went online, and, like, similar pants to these retail for around six hundred dollars and they have pants that you know retail for a thousand dollars and up they have dresses for you know twenty two hundred dollars if they're made out of silk so i thought that this was a great piece to get um they literally look like they've been only worn a few times clearly like they still just are in great condition and just got dry cleaned. So I hope we can find a home for these. Any cute little corporate girly or if someone, you know, works in a salon or something, they have to wear all black all the time. I think that they're really cute. And then kind of like these where I'm like, be the right Lafayette. Um, this is Armani Collection. So I was like, you know, don't be Armani Exchange. So Armani Collection um, jackets like this will, you know, retail for like $600 also, six, $700. Suits could go for $1,400 if it had the pants. Um, there's a little bit of discoloration here, which, you know, could probably even get taken out by a dry cleaner or I could try oxy cleaning it. But this is a great spring um, blazer. It's super bouncy, like it's stretchy. It's lightweight, it's got a single button, and the fact that it's like navy and cream I think is really beautiful. Like a career woman's dream, almost this blazer, because it's not gonna wrinkle, you can travel with it. It's great for different seasons. Like, I think that this is really beautiful, and I, the construction is really great. Like it's kind of got this like slimming effect in the back. So I was really excited to find those two pieces. I was like, wow, like between these two pieces, like whoever bought these, like they've spent like $1,200 just on these two pieces alone. So I thought that was really great to, um, you know, give them a second life, hopefully. Now this is just a cute little accessory, simple, really pretty, lightweight, kind of eyelash hem scarf which it's light so it could be like a wrap this is a great like travel scarf it is just uni glow but it is so incredibly soft and i know i love traveling with stuff like this um and it's a wool cashmere blend so like taking this as like almost like a little throw or almost like a blanket for when you're like on a plane or a train or if, even in your car like if some people turn the air conditioning on really high and you kind of get cold. Like it's great to kind of have a piece like this, I thought. And from here, I think I'm gonna show you some of my other accessories and then we'll do the rest. So I found a pair of shoes, which my fiance has already taken and I don't know where they are. Oh, you should show them. <laughs> they were um, so good. I don't know where they are. They're not on his feet today, so, but they might be in the bedroom. But these shoes, they're like a navy blue suede, like loafer boat shoe hybrid. And they were made in Italy and they retailed for like 300 bucks. So that's, I mean, if we're keeping count here, 
that's $1,500 just on three pieces for retail. Um, now these, I found a kid's pair in my last haul. These are just like, you know, your quintessential spring, summer Birkenstock. I like that it's the kind of like leather black with like kind of like, I wouldn't say matte black here on the metal, but maybe like a gun metal. It says Birkenstock there. The insole kind of rubbed off, but you can tell that it says it here on the side too. And they've been worn, but not super worn. Like if I hold them this way, you could see that. And like I said in my first haul or the second one, um, Birkenstocks take a little bit of time to break in. Like they kind of like come and then the sole is a little bit stiff and someone has already broken these in. So I may think that that makes them even more viable because you don't have to go through the oopsies. They're super comfy and add them to my tab. Yeah, and you don't have to go through. I don't know why I'm even showing these to you. They probably won't make it on any of my platforms because I know someone who wants them. So, but just in case you're looking for a pair yourself and you're afraid to pick them up, you should get them because people want them. And then I found these little mules. They're Franco Sarto. I think that this like Python print is really pretty. Um, it feels very muted to me. So I think you could pair this with like a lot. They barely, <gasps> buddy, you like these? Yeah. Oh yeah, you like them. Okay, good job, Cash. Oh my goodness, I'm not done with the haul, bud. You can't go on your break. He's like, I've been working too hard. Okay, Cash. Okay, <laughs> good boy. Okay, good boy. <gasps> Look at him posing. Oh, Nick, it's a beautiful boy. Oh, you think you're a good boy? <laughs> my biggest fan and my manager. Um, so I thought that these were great. Like, you can see they're like barely worn there. And these were also in the Goodwill retail. Look at, they just have the price all over there. <laughs> oh, I don't know the point of putting that on there five times, but it is on there and they did not sell for that much because they probably overpriced them. But I think that these are great, really awesome spring style. And then a couple like tchotchke type things. So. I got this probably for myself. So it's just like a branded little um, like makeup bag, but it's iridescent, which I think is really awesome. And I always come across the issue where if I'm traveling that I don't have a bag like this that's large enough to put like my full size like conditioner and shampoo or like my sunblock in and then I'm like, you know, zipping my little makeup bag and everything's like popping up the side or they like open up in my suitcase or I have to put them in um, like a Ziploc bag, which obviously throws off like your whole aesthetic, but it keeps your stuff dry. So I picked this up because it's like oversized. Like you can see like versus like, it's like as big as like my whole body. So I thought that that was really great. I'll probably keep it unless I end up not going anywhere anytime soon, then I might post it. And then I got this. I ended up in front of a bin and it was jam packed. I couldn't move to like a clothing bin. And so I was in like, you know, a home wear bin. And I saw this and although I'm not like, like a friend's fanatic, I knew what it was immediately. And I was like, oh my God. It's like the friends frame. And like, um, I think it's in the girls apartment. They have this like over the, um, like the people, the people that's, I'm like the eye hole, <laughs> the look hole, um, the people. So I thought that this was super cute. Maybe I'll keep it, maybe I'll list it. It also has on the back like 
one of like the Velcro stickers. So it may have been on a wall or not, but look, it says it's handmade. Mm -hmm. That's so sweet. Someone physically like made this. It couldn't go to a landfill. That's just so rude. So I might list it. If you want this, if you're interested, comment. Let me know. I am willing to part with it. If not, it will go on my door. So that's all the accessories. Now we're gonna move on to like kind of the tail end of the haul. Um, this piece here is a Lululemon. It was inside out when I found it and I was so excited when I switched it around. I was like, oh, cute. It's a very like dark camo print sports bra. Um, it's super strappy. It's in great condition. It does not have like the pads or anything in it. I think those have been removed, but I feel like I always remove my pads. Like they just like end up crinkled and like in the wrong spot. So I always remove them. Um, it is a size four. If you are not a Lulu lemon head <laughs> um, and are new, they will hide these little side dots like inside the bra pads and those will let you know what size it is. So this is size four because um, Lululemon comes with like really long, narrow like tags that are meant to be ripped out, but then like you can't find out what size it is. So they put those in there. They do that with the pants too. Sometimes they're hidden in like the little key pocket and stuff. So I thought this was great. This is kind of like the athleisure, like casual section. I was hoping this was Lululemon also, or like maybe Aloe Yoga, because the color is gorgeous. Like it has this really pretty sheen to it. It's got a little sparkle. Like if this was a nail polish color, this would be my, my go-to color, but it's just Reebok, but it looks really like high end. So here is the tag. Um, I've never seen this tag before which is long, kind of like how the Lululemon tags are. So maybe this is some sort of collab or something, but it's beautiful. Like, I wish this was my size. I don't believe it is. It looks kind of tiny. Um, here it says, this is from 2017 actually, but it looks like it's barely even worn. And as for size, I'm gonna say it's probably like, oh yeah, it's an extra small which is similar in sizing to the size four Lululemon bra. Like they look very similar in size. And then more athleisure type stuff. I put this in here because it was giving me ballet core, like going to the yoga studio, you're going to a bar class, then you're going out for brunch or drinks, which I think was like really great. Um, and this is an Urban Outfitters brand. This is like a collab. I found a couple things by this collaboration. They did pretty well. Simple black ribbed v-neck. This one is also a collaboration. So Nation and Soul Cycle. <laughs> so it has a little Soul Cycle here. And then it has these cool like cutouts in the, um, in the arm. So a little bit oversized. The size is size large, made in Peru, a pretty pink color, but I thought this is really great. And it's similar to this, which is probably not from the same person because I think this is even bigger. Oh, size large. Soul Angeles, which is sometimes sold at Anthropology. Tie dyed, oversized. This is like sweatshirt material also with all these like raw hems, raw hem here, cut off sleeve, um, raw hem here. This is what I saw to begin with is like their little tag. So I thought that was really cool. And then a few basics, made well, pretty v-neck, pocket tee, size small, lightweight, just simple, casual. But I thought the color was really great. I haven't seen this color. And here we have 
an ACDC kind of acid stone wash crop top. Also was clearly in a regular price Goodwill. Look at the look at the price that they had on here. Twenty dollars. I don't think I would even like sell this for twenty dollars. It's cropped. It is a licensed tea, so it's not like vintage, but it is like ACDC licensed tea. But I thought this was really cool. Highway to heck. Andrew <laughs> said we had to take a break, so. He was ready for his state mandated break. So let's get back to where we were, um, which is this piece, which is probably the favorite of the haul. Um, it's so thrashed and distressed like perfectly that I don't know if this is vintage or not. The tag is kind of giving that it is vintage. Um, since it's not like a Bowie licensed tea or something. Um, but it just like looks like it's in too good of condition. But nevertheless, it is perfect. I love it. It's going to be so hard not to keep. It's going to be so hard not to give to someone that I love, that I think will love it. Um, but I think this is like the coolest like vintage inspired band graphic tee that I found in a really long time. And then we're at the tail end here. So another like lounge piece, just some joggers. These are actually all embroidered on. So all these beautiful like little kind of ditzy flowers, all embroidered. I thought that they were gonna be like screen printed. Um, especially when I saw the brand. These are just from Old Navy. But if any of you are on TikTok or Instagram, there's all these like really funny reels going around like, is Old Navy the new Aritzia? Like with their like wannabe super puff jackets and like, just like stuff like this is kind of shocking considering like the cost it is to do embroidery versus screen printing. So I thought these were great. They're beautiful charcoal gray and they do have pockets there's a little bit of pilling but only around the waistband and kind of the um, ankle cuff which could either you know be left which i think is fine or be removed with like a lint roller and then this piece is so cute so it's from daydreamer it's tie-dyed, drop shoulder, sweatshirt, kind of like boxy. This set, which I did find, was like so epic. So first I pulled this out. I was so excited. I just saw that it was tie-dye. I was hoping it was like mother or something substantial and not like just something from Target. I'm so excited it's Daydreamer. I'm in the bin. I see something else in a tie-dye, but I couldn't really tell that it was the same tie-dye. And it's the shorts for the set. And they have pockets. And I was an emotional roller coaster because I got them and I felt the waistband. I noticed it was missing the drawstring, but they do have like a little waist, um, elastic in there so I was like oh they're probably still sellable and then while I'm fishing around in the bin I see like this much <laughs> of a tie-dyed rope like wrapped around hangers and all this stuff so I'm there like pulling it and I actually found the drawstring I felt like I was like a paleontologist like finding the full like dinosaur like <laughs> bone and like I was so excited I just need to kind of like weave that through and then this will also be something really difficult for me not to keep so this haul I don't know how much of this is actually going to make it to any of my reselling um platforms but I was super excited to find that and then this is my potential fail um I grabbed them, I threw them back, and then grabbed them again. 
I threw them back initially because I wasn't sure what the brand was and then I thought maybe they were a little too beat up and I really wanted them to be Levi's. But then I was like, do you know what? They're really cute. They're small, but it's fine. Like who doesn't need like a booty short for spring and summer? And then I realized that this is like an Aritzia brand, I believe. So I was like, okay, that's great. And then while hanging them, I realized it's missing two of the buttons. It's supposed to have four and it only has two. But do you think that's a big deal? Like, are, do these still, like, are they sellable as is? Leave me a comment and let me know what you would do because these buttons are kind of beyond me being able to like replace them. And I don't know if I want to pay someone, but like if you have those two button, is that going to like pop open? I feel like they're still wearable. They're not my size, so I can't try them on to see if like that's going to be an issue. But please let me know what your thoughts are on if this is a fail or not or if I can still sell them. I feel like maybe. But that's the end of my haul, besides my one bonus piece, which like I was having an issue with all these pieces liking them and saying that I'm going to keep them or give them to someone I love. I already am wearing the one <laughs> t-shirt. So it's like a Van Gogh Starry Night tee and it's like kind of like distressed down here and has like some staining, but I was having extreme regret. Like I had found a Starry Night like Batman t-shirt and it was um, on like a washed black tee and I sold it even knowing that I loved it and then I regretted it immediately and I shipped it out and I was sad and I still think about it every day and <laughs> so as soon as I found this one I was just like I have to have it so I styled it so this is from the bins it's like the full Starry Night, which I actually have a picture in front of the real Starry Night, which I love. I think I go to visit, um, visit it probably once every like three or four years. It's actually a much smaller painting than you think it's going to be. Like you think it's going to be really massive and it's only like this big. Um, same for the Mona Lisa. The Mona Lisa is like this big, but, um, so I have this vintage t-shirt paired with this vintage like zebra stripe sheer top, which I did thrift at like a local thrift store um, back in Pennsylvania. And then I have like my favorite rings. This one I actually got from a thrift store along with this really cool kind of like watch chain link um, bracelet, which is from a thrift store. And my pants were a birthday gift, not thrift store not secondhand, but they're a gift and they're vegan leather. And then my shoes, these are from thrift store. They're really cute, I found them with my best friend. But that's the fit. I hope you like it. I hope you really enjoyed this haul. I found like a good amount of stuff for how crowded it was. I feel like I really could have crushed it if there weren't 200 people there that day, but I think it's a nice size haul. If you have questions about anything, please drop a comment. Um, also all of these things should be listed by the time this video goes up. So ways to shop with me, Poshmark, hit me up on Instagram if you like something, Macari, Depop, and eBay. And just like, subscribe my channel, show some love, and stay stylish and hydrated. Cheers! Cheers.